I just had to restart the video again to carry on and finish this video off um, on this um, 38 degrees here today on Saturday the um, 10th of June 2017 I'm just finishing off what I was talking about with the flag and King Itodo and there's our man the th terror threat to New Zealand reveal in security handbook national New Zealand news so I um, put him as the first defendant and he's not saying anything and they made him a sir the Queen has made him a sir for what for ripping off the people of New Zealand that's why he retired early and resigned earlier prematurely because the Panama Papers is in his brain the corruption and fraud is in this man's head and he's going for escape we're gonna strip him of all his assets because that's the power the paramount chiefs have okay and myself the bank creditor the Maui powerhouse bank creditor is going to seize everything now here's the Moriori uh, Manukau title this is the Moriori Manukau title the four pillars that Mohi has put together and this is the title to New Zealand this is the title I won't, I won't explain it now I'll explain it tomorrow so this is the title no one else has got this is a Moriori Manukau title and nothing else it's not a Cook Island title it's not a Moai title it's not a British title it's a straight native land Whakapapa title with its parliament there that semicircle there and all the rest I'll explain at another day tomorrow maybe so citation Manukau company and land title deeds Edinburgh Scotland so I've I've got on this website on the Facebook site I've got all these um, ready for this man's court case it's already in the High Court of London lodged against him causing all these bank frauds on the Queen's side and he's been using our flag with the NZ Invest New Zealand Limited and the police tied up in those companies the police have got about 14 companies here tied up in NZ Invest and they'll be running they'll be running away and deregistering their companies you watch there I saw them all disappear from 11,000 down to 800 that have been left out of the, we're going after all those companies that ran away they'll be on the registers list as deregistered we're going after them the sheriffs will find them anywhere in the world they won't get away especially with a king's sheriff after them the king will be busy there'll be plenty of jobs for sheriffs I'm not worrying about marshals and I'm not interested in marshals only sheriffs and paramount chiefs um, and um, registered experienced debt collectors civil procedures rules oh, that's just some more information uh, writs and warrants general provisions so in this site we've got um, um, a lot going uh, as well as on other sites so I'm just saying uh, to finish the video off that uh, this is the dual government site that I'll be putting together on the petition to put uh, King Ernest Augustus into Westminster but this is our dual government that we're setting up on uh, One Tree Hill in Auckland where Mohi Manukau wanted to put the Marori Manukau title parliament up so that's the Commonwealth that'll be the Maui Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the world with Britain that they'll have a Britain element in it I've got Kevin uh, Rice here he's the hydrogen um, engineer uh, with me on the tidal turbine projects and his own projects as well he's doing these fuel cells and will be um, in the administration of our business here on the crown my crown side and with his ancestors over in Denmark um, on that side and the European side 
and we have Matt Taylor in um, Brighton, England, where our company is registered in Brighton, uh, under the Companies Act in uh, London, as um, shareholding, one billion shareholding. So that will be open when I go there. We'll be opening up the shares in New Zealand, one off a trillion shares in New Zealand, and one billion shares in each of 250 countries in the world. So there, there, here we have the seal of Mahima, um, sorry, of uh, King William IV on his hill, horse there, and his ship of Admiralty in the back behind it. Okay, that's on my hat. Here's that um, title. I'll show you afterwards, but not now. Uh, so we have um, uh, Maui Crown Federal State Government uh, operating on this site. So um, I have um, quite a bit of information all the way through every site, but uh, at the moment this is moving a little bit slow. So this is the crazy giants came out of pit in Rugby World Cup. They, they, when John Key was there as Prime Minister, he set all this fake stuff up with our Moai statue coming out of the ground in, in, in uh, um, Cardiff, uh, England in Cardiff, and the 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 British lost lost the game. They lost the game. Okay, and, and all these crazy things going on with Moai, saying the Moai is dead, and um, uh, they've taken over. Out of the sky, the ball, the Easter ball, flies out of the sky down hits the ground. That's the Moai Easter egg. Just how stupid these illusion people are. Fake fakers. John Key and his fake flag. The fern flag failed, uh, and and here we are. We've got the founding flag, and they've just gone straight of it, ignorance, and didn't think it was there. It was invisible to them. It's not anymore because it's going to sting them. Everything. Um, so there's Nazi Pro and their Trump trust deed. We're, they're going to get the bill. These lots. Got, these are the Iwi Crown Maoris that are screwing. The whole land at East Cape on my land blocks and booted me off my land. They're going to get booted off themselves. Right? Look look at this. Entire Florida Police Department busted laundering tens of millions of international drug cartels. Look at, see? This is under Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria monarchy. It's all about fraud. Plans in place to kick out 220 members of the House of Lords who barely turn up. Your Brexit. Now, when I go there, I always said this to Matt Taylor, and he's got it on his video, that we're going there to clean them out, clean them all out, because if with a king, Ernest Augustus, you don't need these lords. They're just waste of money. All that money paid for these useless people, and after they've gone, they're still getting paid. When they retire, they're still getting paid. All they're going to stop. All that is going to stop when we get in. Okay, it's not fair on the people who put them there that they can cream the whole lot off and more, and leave the people homeless and no food. Debtors, prison for kids, poor children incarcerated when families can't pay juvenile court fees. See, this is what happens when these rich elite people hook everything out and leave everybody with nothing. The king's there to go and rescue all these people, that's what I'm saying. Um, so, that'll do for that. Auckland gentlemen, settler. This is the time of the um, Simons came to New Zealand. I've been re writing to them all the time. Letters, backs and forwards. And all the videos. See, last year we had we started this off in 2016. Last year, uh, on the 28th, we, we we raised this flag event. We always have that. Now this government here stealing it that day to go and celebrate Maori wars, New Zealand wars they calling it, and those wars are started by this flag, and they are going to try and steal the flag as being their authority. No, no. I told those Paramount Chiefs to boot them out of the way because they have no 
authority to use that flag on the treaty grounds. We're going to seize the land and the flag and the ship back into the hapu and take it off those thugs. Queen Elizabeth announces retirement on her age 90th birthday. So that's all I want to say really and um, we'll just leave it there for now. I just wanted to show you a little bit about what I do online on 80 Facebook sites. 80 Facebook sites altogether. <coughs> so there you go. I've just showed you what I do as my job of sorry king. Talk for the king. Nobody talks for the king. No one talks for those kings. I'm only talking for those kings. King William the Third, King William the Fourth, King Ernest Augustus the First, King Ernest, Ernest Augustus the Fifth, and Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, the son of King Ernest Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch, sovereign, descendant, bloodline descendant to those kings. King William IV, King William III, and their father, King George III. That line, not the others. These are the lines in the world court that the Freemasons are playing with. That's our title as a contracted partner. And they are third party. The Freemasons are third party. And all the documents that they use belong to Westminster Parliament and the government and us. That's why I'm going into Westminster, people, because I have all the documents and credentials to speak for the king, to put a king back in there, to correct the titles and the authority that the king set up for us. Two-way party. King William IV set up that stock exchange with our birth certificates, 1831, and Mohi Manukau's 1830 Manukau birth certificate for the stock exchange to make money out of this flag. The flag was making money for us, not for those elite people who stole that Bank of England. We got a bankrupt the Bank of England with this flag and everything they own. Tough. That's how Moai works. His deeds of truth against your deeds of fraud and corruption, deception and theft and genocide and treason and all the laws you break because you set them up for yourself to get away with it. You won't get away with it the admiralty that created those laws you use because we're going to use those laws on you. The 1850 to 1871 the 17, uh, 1650 to 1703 King William III's Acts of Parliament we're using on you and King William IV's Acts of Westminster Parliament from 1830 to 1837. That's the period all of this consolidation went on to consolidate all the kings into this commercial contract stock market money making machine. That's our business. No one can touch any private contract or trust. The Queen Victoria has a trust that Queen Elizabeth is running for the Maoris here and their hapus. Not the iwi, the Maoris. Hapu. And so we're going there to sack her, hang her, and hang the other ones to trust these. Imelda Marcos and Prince Andrew. Those are the three trustees left running the racket in the Philippines with our gold trust fund that belongs to Queen Victoria Trust. We can do what we like with them with these laws in Westminster. We're operating with those laws now on Titi Marae. 
native grand jury trial magistrate court, equal to the king. Let's put this flag and our paramount chief's Moriori Manukau title and the Moai Crown title sitting in London. Okay, those memorials are sitting in London. And that Moriori carving is here. I know where it is. It's not for anybody to know because that's private business. I'm going to talk about it, but no one's going to get that carving. It's going back on One Tree Hill with the new parliament, the new Maui Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World. And there, the Manukau's can find their way back to their ancestors in a nice, safe place. That was my job, to make sure it went up. And so I will make sure it goes up. That's why it's so hard for me to handle all of this single-handedly on my own. Because no one can do it. No one can talk for Manukau in Britain or talk for King William the Fourth, or talk for Maui and East Island from this part of the world where our ancestors said go and look for the sun. We found it over here. Closest distance to the sun is over here on my land rock. You see? You see the Pendy Falls? That's the closest place on earth where the sun is to this earth. And that's my title to my family, ancestors, that I'm going to England because my wife's standing there waiting for me to go and uplift them and take them home if we need to. I'll decide that when I get there. Okay? That's our title. Like I'm saying, that's a Tahitian title. Straight. You got to, you know, I'm going to make sure that no one jumps the fence between Samoa, Cook Island, Tahiti, Hawaii, Australia, the other islands in their whakapapa and jump onto this while it's looking good. See, because it's not fair on others who have an equal opportunity that don't say anything. I can tell who's who in this Moriori. I check their surnames. I check their surnames because they have to be the male line dominant. The same as the king, male line dominant. All the way through. The king was there to stop the land being sold and losing it. That's what the queen did sold the land, but that's only to who she wants to do. It still belongs to the king and the partners to the king and all the natives in the world. Once we get this sorted out. Okay, so um, what else did I want to say? Uh, that was all for this because I'm going up to the gym after I have some lunch, but I just want to let those people up north know I'm just going to put that um, questionnaire to 38 degrees for uh, our position uh, we're taking when we go to Britain. Now it's 10 days um, from yesterday, or that's about the 20th of this month, that Parliament would be opening up in Britain for Brexit, to resume Brexit. Um, and, do, and and get on with uh, their new form government, the DUP party and the Conservative party of Theresa May is still in. I put a photo there yesterday before the elections just to let you know that that was my thoughts. When, when I filled out the, the questionnaire for 38 degrees, my, my uh, vote 
would have gone to UKIP 71%. 71% to UKIP. It would happen if Nigel Farage was in there. But see, he, he, he stood out to see who's who, and he'll jump back in and pick up the UKIP and push it through now that he knows where the government's sitting fragile. Theresa May is sitting fragile. It's going to come honest now. It's going to come true. That this letter I just wrote to her two days ago to Theresa May, listen up, you're watching this video, please take note that in your interests, your better interests as Conservative Party and for the better interests of Britain, not the EU, for Britain, don't talk about the EU because you're going to get knocked down when we get there. You better keep the interests of the investment interests or financial investment interests in the hands of the British people. Because the way I'm looking at it, you were there to cart it all off as First Lord of the Treasury. I'm going to investigate the Treasury as surrogate king with Matt Taylor uh, Gordon Bowden, who's ex-military uh, air force, and he's got all the documents that are fictitious companies, registered companies, that have nothing there. He's going to have those out. We're going to join up with him, and this guy Russell, what's his name, Russell, uh, he's just um, got my interest. Oh, I think I've met him before. He's from Surrey. Ed Russell, Surrey. Um, he's in the engineering at Brooklyn. So it um, be handy to have him in the Tidal Energy Project. Uh, with him and Matt Taylor uh, to push things along with the petition to get King Ernest Augustus the fifth in to keep this flag straight on the straight original path of all that fortune that we'll be administering uh, with whoever I pick there, as Matt's being the first interest with his SOS Independent Party and his King Arthur. I've gone along with his support and um, also uh, with um, uh, others in Britain who have supported me. Uh, and from there, and then from uh, Scotland with um, Andy and Jackie Little Gordon, they'll be looking up. They'll be looking after the land titles in Edinburgh. They're only two hours away from there. They'll be looking after all that commerce and the banking instruments, the birth certificate instruments, and also the land title instruments around the world in the 250 countries, and also in the Commonwealth countries where this Moriori. Manukau title has gone. Okay, it's gone round well. And so that's only that contract with that one man and his uh, executive to the Freemasons and those instruments belong to Westminster, not to the Freemasons. It belongs to Westminster government and us. I'm going there to seize on all that information with them with uh, Gordon Bowden and John Patterson, the Patterson Bank of England, to fire that up and seize the Bank of England with this flag and the writ warrant that we're using on Cook Street to seize that back. That's the embassy there to Britain from here. And I'll be in that position as ambassador to those 250 countries uh, from Britain. Uh, London, from Paddington, we live in that area, Paddington, uh, or Waterloo, around that, anywhere around there, I'll be looking when I get there. I've got some place in Waterloo at the moment, and Paddington is closer to the Magistrate Court. The, the, the Westminster Magistrate Court is what I'm interested in, with this flag to put up in that court, as being appropriate, closest to Trafalgar Square and the Admiralty um, building uh, wing of 
the education department that's just shifting in, in September. It will be just in time for us to be there to open up a wing there for all these native titles and this flag to push the economy and the hydrogen economy and the British Lapcat A2 hydrogen passenger plane get it off the ground in that Admiralty wing with the Moai Crown invested in there. Investiture in there with the King William the Fourth Memorial and King Ernest Augustus in Buckingham Palace and in the throne to take over with us. Okay, that's our partnership that'll secure Britain, the old Britain, back where it was and the people better off. The benefit of the people and the benefit right around the world. In all those countries with the pound note, the Maui King William IV pound note, electronic and the gold and water money currencies at the same time through Taipei in France. So we're going to all have all that set up in the World Court and we're going to throw everybody into the World Court who has their names on our list on Facebook. You can see them there in the box. The wanted box, John Key, you're in there. It hasn't shifted, it hasn't gone anywhere. And those detectives here, Natalie Flower Du Brown, you're in there. There's a website on Facebook with Natalie Flower Du Brown versus John Wynor in there. And she's gone for a skate for stripping the King's shirt off me and locking me up in prison. You're going right in prison for a long, long time. You, Tim Duffy, who trespassed me off the land that belongs to me and the Manukau family. The Moai is in Auckland. That's the title. The Moai statue is just sitting in the museum here, sitting in the London Museum, and sitting in Dunedin with a hat on his head. Right? That's the crown. That's the real Earth planet crown on his head. Why did Queen Victoria steal the crown of my family? My Wanoa Taishin royal family. Why? Tell me why. For commercial reasons of its spirit that you don't have. You didn't have a spirit. That's why you needed that to make everybody pray to God. You didn't mean God, you meant the devil. You meant the devil. You put the Bible in front of everybody to swear their oath to God. And you don't believe in God. You, you believe in Satan. Jesuits believe in Satan. And all your mafia lot. Queen Elizabeth, you got a lot riding on your head with this warrant with your face in the box. They're not there for nothing. I put them there for a reason. To try you online. This trial by media. The more people on Facebook that sees us, about 1.7 billion people on Facebook, and you can't tell me none of them have seen you in the box, wanted for treason, genocide, murder, stealing kids, pedophilia, name it. You did it all. You did it all. Of course, war. Incited war. Violence. Muslims. All of those things are in your name. And you've got no coronation. Nothing real. It was just an illusion you set up to defraud my people, the Paramount Chiefs, the people in New Zealand. I can talk for them because you defrauded them here on our land here and you've defrauded the people of the world. We have gone with this flag and abused the hell out of it with your pirates it was meant for. That's what I'm saying, you've turned everybody into pirates and now they're going to turn you back into a pirate and them into the good King's common law people. That's what the common law was set up for with this flag. 
to protect the people who put you there. And now they're going to take you right out because I'm petitioning you to get rid of you on 38 degrees starting from tomorrow. I'm setting a petition to get rid of you, get rid of the House of Lords, get rid of all the swamp rats in your crown and the Rothschild's crown, get rid of the Bank of England, take it over with the Maori Crown Bank and a new set of blood people who come out of the common law people. <coughs> <coughs> the Patterson's for one is the family that set that bank up in England. See? So, <coughs> we're going back to square one. We're petitioning <coughs> King Ernest Augustus V as King of Britain, UK. And see where that goes, where the elections are finished and the new government is forming. It's going to go hand in hand with a new government and us in it. We're going to be sitting right alongside, ready to go in. And we're going in as a Maui, King William, party. That's online. You saw me show it to you. And so, here goes. <coughs> Manahi, Parapara, Mahini, and Bundy, <coughs> Waitai, <coughs> and Hiruwini Karaka. <coughs> you are now officially paramount chiefs of the 1834 Declaration of War state of emergency flag. What I meant by declaration of war is that we have threats against our country, against our resources, natural resources, against our people, <coughs> our native people, our people who are here with us by consent from us, <coughs> and our visitors who come here and those who live here is our responsibility now. And I'm saying to you that <clears throat> we're getting ready to go. I'm going to put the petition together to raise the funds online with 38 degrees and questionnaires to see what they think about it, of us going there with this flag to save everyone from the misery they're going through. <coughs> it'll diffuse all the debt. It'll diffuse all the debt and reverse everything. One shot. I tell you, one shot. And it's not going to come from anybody else other than myself on the financial side of the banks. And because um, you paramount chiefs look after the land, it is my responsibility to provide the funding for that. Not for you to go and try and get it because at the present time it still has to come through the government in New Zealand who still have control of this country. <coughs> and what they say goes at this stage until we alert Britain that we need their help because we've run out of any help from this government in their justice system will not work with us. They are settling their own Maori people and their own selves talking to themselves in the mirror. The Crown and the Maori iwi is their own self creation. It is nothing to do with the native Maori people and who they want on this land. <coughs> and we have the titles and the original contract with this flag to Britain, direct. Now, what have you got, Bill English? What have you got 
absolutely nothing but assumption and a sovereignty queen that's not there. Why do you carry on as if she's there? There's no seal in your courts from Westminster. <coughs> There's no queen sovereign authority here. You're running on a boat with no flag of jurisdiction of Admiralty higher than this one. You think you got rid of it, but it's still there. I've just woken this lot up here and told them who the hell they are. I'm talking about the chiefs. It's their job now to sort you lot out with the both sides of the flag. In 1835, King, King Itauru and Sunakura can sort you lot out. It's up to them to do what they want to sort you lot out because they're running in the death side. Kingy's alright because he's got the Queen Victoria Trust on his side. I've got the documents for that. And I'm covering for him and his King's titles and Queen's titles. That's on that side. Meanwhile, on this side, <coughs> the King's side is straight into the World Court where Sue and Kingy's going anyway. So I'm going to do a double take on this. Only keep them apart. I keep the two sides of the flag apart because they're two different jurisdictions of Admiralty. One's Vice Admiral, that's the Queen's side, and the other's Admiralty, straight Admiralty, with that ship in Whiteley on the treaty grounds, is the straight Admiralty to the whole world title. That's the only ship you'll find next to a marae or a building with its flags flying with this flag fly, not the other one, not that other Kotani Tanga flag. It's got no contract to the king. And it's not on that flagship. Only that flagship and those 13 chiefs have got that title that they haven't got control of because this navy in New Zealand <coughs> has sucked the living daylights out of our title. And all that money will be recovered. I'm saying to uh, John, what's his name? Martin, Chief of Navy on New Zealand. You didn't come up to Kororareka when the flag went upside down with Tupi, Jim Wikotu. <clears throat> you see, I've never said much about Jim because he's distanced himself from Napui. Yet he's still holding on to the flag and Matatu Waka. I'm saying this, Jim, I've been trying to ring you and you're avoiding me. Again. Again. So because you're not there with this Moriori title, I can't put you with these other guys because these guys are doing all the talking. I go with those who, who, who talk to this flag. Not sitting from a distance, talking to the flags from somewhere else. That's not going to work. Anybody who's flying the flag, including you, um, um, uh, you, you people who are flying the flag for the Confederation or anything else, Alfred Mitchell, you're, you're, you're flying the flag on the 1835 side. Don't go near this 1834 side because you're on the Sydney side of Australia, New South Wales, where your family comes from. You have to go and sort that lot out with Georgie and the Maori government or whatever you want to do. You, you're, you're, you're in your rights to do that with that side of the flag. In the 1835, you go and pick up all the debts and sort them out form your government whatever you want to do, no problem with me. But on the 1834 side, there's only those three chiefs that are put there. <coughs> you have to stay on the King William, uh, <coughs> sorry, the Queen Victoria side with Kingy and Sunakora because I'm taking them into the World Court on another day separate to these three that I've chosen.
And that's how it works. The 1834 is nobody else's business. All those in those 13 chiefs know. They don't have to know anything. They'll just claim it when these three chiefs stick it together. I'm there to make sure that no one gets hurt and no one gets out of place going into the Freemason side in Britain because the Freemasons are here <coughs> keeping on all you lot and me. Don't underestimate those guys. Don't underestimate them because they run this business. They're running this business. I'm going into this business with my wide open eyes. I'm not going in it blindfolded. I'm going in it for a reason. <coughs> that they're the ones that settle the business up. I'm the one there for Moai to make sure it fits into their system. If they change it, it's, they're going to change it, not me. They'll change it. I don't have any voice to change it. At least not yet. So I'm going to go through <coughs> this stage with caution and with no optimism, optimism, but with confidence in what I say and do is on a king's level. I'm talking on a king's level of this flag to talk for this flag because nobody is talking like this. No one's been talking like this. I've been talking like this for a long time not on this level, we're getting close. <coughs> and Moe's watching me from up there. Okay, he keeps me going, and the other ones as well. But they're all in the 1835 side. The 1834, Mohi knew about, but wasn't saying anything. I'm just know from how he talks and how I write what he says that makes all the sense. <clears throat> I'm just saying this. The Moriori people were a real people and the Ngāpuis and the Tainuis and all the Te Rauparaha people slaughtered them to get rid of them. And yet they've been here for donkey's years living right next to this country from Chatham Islands, where they settled for many years. And then this lot came along and changed their history to themselves. Well, they have no title to this. <coughs> no, they won't pass this test. They won't pass this test because the names are wrong. The Solomon is not a Moriori original male bloodline on that island. They've gone there and taken over, just like what they did to East Island. They've gone and they're the white people, and with their surnames, they've taken over. You see? They can't prove they got there first. That's what I'm saying about Tiki Tiki. I'm saying there, you have a look at the map. It's got on there. This is the, this is the country here. It's writing all these years on it. It's got 1837 in Te Aroa, 1837 in Ruatoria, in Whakawhitira, but 1831 in Tiki Tiki. Now you tell me, from looking at the map and the church, who got there first, according to this country's crown system and the British crown system. But this one was making all those 1840 treaty to jam themselves into our titles. You see what I'm talking about? our titles. They've gone and usurped our titles as if they were there first. No, 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 no. That's what Nati Pro did. Talk about our whakapapa as if they were there first. You see? And Toi Kairako on Mount Hikurangi, that's a Cook Island and sister on my mother's side. So you've got another problem there, because they're saying they were here first, and Ngāti Kuri up north says they were here first. <coughs> According to the British, they should have picked you first. 
as being from Cook Island and Captain Cook got to the Cook Islands before he got, got here. See? So they can't say Cook Islands found this country straight to Britain as a flag. He found this country but never colonised it. So it didn't count. It didn't count because there was someone here before that. That's why they left it alone. That's what these Moriori's were saying. They didn't get rid of this fellow Mohi Manukau and a few other real Manukau's. You can see it in their eyes, right? <coughs> you can see it in their eyes. And the Paraparas, right? The Paraparas and all their family down the East Coast, the Paraparas. <coughs> the Parapara and the, the Manukau's are down in Motueka on, on the big uh, reservation there. Uh, big domain there with those names on it. And I've been right through there. And that's just how it is. All the other names on there, <coughs> the British didn't look at them. They just looked at these two names, the Parapara and Manaka and the Wano. That's why they married them. The Rogan. The Scottish English Rogan judge in Awaroa. Native court in Helensville. That Rogan married the Manukau and the other Rogan in Tiaroa in Tiki Tiki <coughs> married the one all there. That was the court in Whakafetira. You see the two? You see the two? Aurora Native Court in the 10 acre block in Helensville and Whakawhitira Native Court in Mount Hikarangi, the bottom of Mount Hikarangi between Tiki Tiki and Rotoria, Midway, there, over there. You see, close to the church, just up the road, not far to walk. The church, <coughs> Rahui Marae, that's my Marae, then Tiki Tiki, all the Wanoas in there, all those ancestors in there, all Wanoas. I'm talking for myself because no one else will this way. I'm just telling you who the hell I am. In the Rahui Marae, the name Rahui means put a ban on everything to see, see when, when someone dies in, in the sea. They ban any diving, ban any fishing in the area for a few days until they find a body. Huh? And put a Rahui on the land when something's wrong in the forest. <coughs> so we're putting a Rahu right over the country from that Rahu Marae. What's anybody going to say about that when you've got the birth certificate titles inside that Marae as being the first birth certificate. The Manukau's 1830 birth certificate straight to England, straight to King William there with that Manukau over there in the Manukau Company in Scotland or Westminster to that church <coughs> because the church put the birth certificates in first. Okay? The birth certificate <coughs> that the Manukau had in 1830 was pre existing from that church that went up to stack their authority on the stock market. But the birth certificate of the Manukau was 1830 to 1834. In 1834 period, the registered birth certificate, you won't find any of those anywhere. You won't find anyone with them because the British didn't give it to anybody. They only gave it to my family and the Manukau's in these native courts. <coughs> and Refere for Manukau in the uh, Okiato native court in Kororareka or Bay of Islands, Russell. But that's one together. Right? That's three native courts. That's it. Three native courts. The whole South Island came under the Mount Hikarangi title through Ngāti Pro, Ngāi Tahu, Tahu Pōtaki, and Ngāi Tahu Pōtaki, the brother of Pōrangi, in this Whakawhitira native court. You get the picture? You, you get the picture? That's where the native titles are here. The British top and this government here put together those Ngāti Pro titles 
and the night of, night, night time to take the whole South Island for their party house. All the party has jumped over the land army. Now they come under these titles. They're subjected to this title, this Moriori title. The British will make sure no one's going to step out of line. Bundy, the British are going to make sure no one steps out of line. Kingy, you're safe on your side. These guys can handle this, but at the end of the day, the Manukau's will step up. Until then, they're not up to this title. They can't take this commercial title. It's nothing to do with families. It is a commercial contract between two people, and that's it. That's what I'm administering, that contract. Private nobody's business. You know that it's a private contract. Nobody's business. To inquire into anything I do and say, write and display on live. As being everyone knows and there's no case to answer in any court of law in the world because it's a king's flag and a king's jurisdiction that no one can contest in this court, native court. Okay, that's all I'm saying for now. That's enough. I've got to go for my gym now. A bit late, but I'll get there now. We'll see you later, and have a nice evening or day. Bye.